Uh, they impacted a lot, obviously. I mean, first of all, you know, JB, they, they play, they keep it honest. They play straight up. They just play hard and tough. They got a long athletic team. Uh, so we knew it was going to be a solid game all the way through. Um, but it's, it's good to have Book out there with his, 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 uh, communication has been on point always. The intangibles that he brings to the game, that's what we miss the most. Obviously, his talent, you know, it's easy to take that for granted sometimes. Uh, we missed that, but his uh, intangibles, talking, being there on the defensive side of the ball, playing physical. I'm um, glad he was able to get his feet wet in a tight game too. You know, after being out four games. It isn't that it isn't that this is rare, but it's because you guys have played so few games together to have all three of you going at the same time. Which yeah, is key for that. Yeah, I mean, I think the rotations uh, were perfect. I think guys made shots tonight. I mean, we shot 54 percent from the field. Um, we were knocking down shots, getting to our spots, and you know we were efficient. So when we all, all of us are efficient like that, then we can put up points. There was one section where Devin penetrated, kicked it to Brad. Brad penetrated, he kicked it to you for an open three. Uh, how much is just a creative part of the game when you three are going? Out there? Yeah, I mean that's that that's that spont- uh, spontaneous type of basketball. You know, you never know where the play going to start with us three, and you never know how it's going to end. So. Uh, Brad was able to get in the paint, which he can do with ease. Book getting the paint with ease, and I'm just facing out there, you know. So if you leave and help, uh, I'm gonna be confident in shooting that shot. So you know, that's the type of plays we need to make. Is two or three passes, we all touch the paint, we get a good look up. I think we did that multiple times tonight. Last thing I had was you did, I think, three straight from the same. Uh same spots, maybe take me through when you got it the second time with an automatic. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they didn't, they helped off. I was especially after I hit one. Uh, I was surprised they helped off, but I just got to shoot those with confidence, you know, with fundamentals and then knock them in. And I was book, put the ball on point. You know, the play was ran with execution, and it's on me to finish it. Kevin, book's getting close to that, that 65 game, whatever. The marker for all NBA, and after tonight, uh, Donovan's going to miss it. I know you were thinking about it uh, last year, but and how, what do you think of the idea of having an all NBA team, no Devin Booker, no Donovan Mitchell? Yeah, I've seen a list of a lot of guys who already missed the, the cutoff. Um, yeah, I feel like I could talk about this stuff all day. Um, and it's going to be unfortunate to see guys who, because Donnie's having an. A phenomenal season. Like uh, we got top five in the league and scoring. Got these guys at top two in the East, and one free play or tough game. You know, uh, on your body. You know, they, so it it is what it is. Guys going to try their hardest to play games, and but they're not going to force themselves through injuries either. So it's a it's a tough one. Kevin, uh, a little off topic here, but I also cover high school basketball and high school athletes. A lot of them which look up to you and some of them model their game after you. What would your advice be to the next generation of talent to really get to that next level? Prioritize the craft every day. I mean, especially at that age, is nothing should be more important than working on your craft. I mean, look what you can get from being an NBA player at a young age. 21, 22, you can sign a contract that's going to change the traje- trajectory of your family's life forever, you know, so lock in at an early age, you know, and, and, and what you do most is what you're going to be best at. Darius had 21 points in the first quarter. What did you see from him today? Just that pop off the dribble. I mean, he's he's dangerous when he can when he knock it down a three that way. He's shooting fadeaway threes. He, he off the dribble. I mean, his... his He's shifty in that pick and roll, you know. So when he's knocking down threes like that, he, it's tough to beat them. He's had a tough year with injuries and stuff. <laughs> as someone who's been in the league as long as you, what do you think he needs to do to kind of take that next step forward? Some of this stuff is freak injuries. Like tonight, I didn't see it, but I heard he stepped on somebody's foot and twisted his ankle. Oh, I haven't. I don't know what other injuries he had this year, but he had like a broken jaw, like. He was out for a month or so with that. You know? So it's just been some tough breaks. I mean, he's a tough kid, not even a kid, tough dude, and he gonna, he going to take some bumps and bruises with, with as much as he, he you know, in the paint, playing against bigger defenders. Just keep just keep running. I mean, he got his routine, man. I think, he, I think he'll be fine moving forward. What did you guys do defensively after that? 
Uh, I think we moved, put me on the five man, and kind of neutralized the pick and roll a little bit. They still ran it, but um, they didn't want to run it as much with us switching that pick and roll with me guarding Jared. They want, and obviously, they love putting pressure on the rim and putting your bigs in a tough position to guard either the ball or the lob. Uh, so I think we did a solid job on that adjustment of just taking them out that pick and roll action. You know, because Jared has been great at rolling to the rim, finishing everything, and they've been doing a great job of finding them.